What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is all focused about the Mixolydian scale, right? The fifth mode of the major scale. We're going to look at what makes the Mixolydian scale, how you can practice it, some common chord progressions for the Mixolydian scale, as well as see how the music of the Grateful Dead incorporates this Mixolydian sound. So let's go. Cool. So today's video is all about the Mixolydian scale, like mentioned in the intro. I think the joke is that every Grateful Dead song you can solo using the Mixolydian scale, which is kind of true, but kind of not, but a very funny joke nonetheless. So in today's video, we're going to look at what makes the Mixolydian scale, right? A very common scale and sound in this music of the Grateful Dead and in general jam band music, right? And it's very much a progression. When you hear it, you'll know it. Sound very familiar. So we'll look at what makes the Mixolydian scale note wise. We'll look at how you can practice to maneuver around the fretboard to get the most out of the scale and know where to go and how to do movements, right? As well as look at a couple progressions that are very friendly to the Mixolydian scale, right? And then finally, relate all this back to the music of the Grateful Dead and do a quick analysis of a couple songs that are very Mixolydian scale focused, right? Both sound wise and chord progression wise. So, with all that being said, let's jump right into it. Rig for today is the PRS freshly restrung into. A Mesa Boogie Flux Drive 5 pedal, I think it's called, into a Boss RC1, into the Overdrive Special, into Aux, into Luna. So, let's get started. Today we'll be in the key of A, let's say. And the Mixolydian scale is the fifth mode of the major scale, right? And we all have our acronyms how to remember the modes of the major scale. Mine is, I don't play like my Aunt Lucy, right? Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, Locrian, right? And obviously today is focused on Mixolydian. So let's look at this major scale in A, right? We have A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Right, very standard major scale. Like mentioned before, we're only changing one note to get this Mixolydian sound. And that note is our seventh degree, which in this case is this G sharp, the major seven. Right? This now major seven becomes flat seven and becomes a G natural, right? Thus having A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G natural, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G natural, A. Thus giving us our dominant seven sound. So the dominant seven sound we just heard comes because of the chord tones being one, three, five, flat seven, right? Our mixed Lydian note root.
right? So now, how can we go about practicing incorporating this flat seven into our already known major scale? Well, you can start by just with the basics, right? Incorporating the five positions of the major scale and just altering that G sharp to a G natural, right? And again, slow and steady always wins the race in this kind of stuff, right? D, E, F sharp, G natural, G natural, right? Right? Oh, I think I forgot one actually. Oh no. <laughs> I did that one. <laughs> so it's really nothing life changing in comparison to the major scale, right? Just one note difference. That major seven now becomes flat seven. Right, one note, major seven to flat seven. So with all that being said, right, we know the foundation of the mixed Lydian scale. We know how we can incorporate it into our major scale as well as how we can practice it, right? Just play your five positions of the major scale and then alter that one note. As you feel more confident, then you can move around the neck to do like three octaves, right? So now let's check out a couple chord progressions that work under or over the mixed Lydian scale. So check this out. Cool. So the first progression is pretty simple. One major, in this case being A major, to flat seven major. G major, right? Because if we look at the notes in G major and compare them to A, we have our flat seven, our B, which is our ninth degree of A, our D, which is our fourth degree, and then G, our flat seven. So one to flat seven. Right, so let's loop that now and see what happens. I also engaged the uh, Mesa Boogie light overdrive.
right? One to flat seven major. Our next progression is one that will most probably sound very familiar to all of you. And that is one major, flat seven major to four major. So in the key of A, that would be A major, flat seven being G major, four chord being D, back to one. Right, so let's loop that now and see what happens. Check out now our third chord progression and see how that happens. Cool. Next up, we have one five minor seven back to one, right? In this case, A major five minor seven being E minor seven back to one major. Now, why that five minor seven? Well, because since, remember, A mixed Lydian is G natural as opposed to G sharp, right? G sharp is the third degree of the five chord, right? And since now we made it G natural, it now becomes the minor third of our fifth degree chord being E, right? E minor. So in terms of relating it back to A, we have E, which is our fifth degree of A, B, which is our ninth degree of A, right? This D, our fourth degree of A, and that G natural, which is our flat seven degree of A. Let's check it out with some looping.
cool. One to five minor seven, back to one. And our last progression, you can say is a little more complex. One to flat seven, major seven, G, F sharp, B, D, right? Two, five minor seven, E, B, D, G, again, our Mixolydian note, back to one major. Right? Right, that's a really cool one. Right, these chord progressions aren't really rocket science when you break them down and see what the notes are. Because for example, the G major seven and the E minor seven, they both have G, which in this tonal center of A mixolydian is the note you want, that G natural, that flat seven. So with all that being said, let's take a look now at a couple Grateful Dead songs, right, very briefly, that incorporate some of these chord progressions that really emphasize the Mixolydian scale and sound. So what are a couple songs that we can say from the Grateful Dead catalog that are very Mixolydian heavy, right? Well, the first one that comes to mind is very obvious, and that is Fire on the Mountain, right? B being one major, A major, flat seven major, to E major, which is our four chord, right? One, flat seven, four. very B mixolydian sound. Another song that is mixolydian in a couple ways is Terrapin Station, right? If we look at Lady with a Fan, that chord progression, G major, D minor, Right, G mixolydian. 
one, five minor because it's F natural, C major four, root, flat seven, minor, four, one, flat seven, again. Right? We can also say the mid jam is mixed lidding because it goes back from G. to flat seven. To where you would solo. like that very mixed lydian heavy right another one estimated profit the solo one four one flat seven four right estimated profit changes to F sharp minor, which is crazy, right? Another very common one you could say is like sugary. Because that A is the flat seven of B. So the Mixolydian sound is all over the Grateful Dead catalog, right? And once you know how to use it, when to use it, right? And how to get the most of the fingerboard while using it, then at that case, you can rule the world and become the Mixolydian king. <laughs> so that is today's lesson on the foundation and or fundamentals of the Mixolydian scale. Well, all right, guys, that is today's video on the foundation of the Mixolydian scale. If you enjoyed today's video, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.